everyone. This is my friend. Are you sleeping? Five more minutes, Mom. I'm not your mom. I'm your trainer. School's canceled. No, it, it, it isn't. We're just on a treasure hunt. Uh, shut up. You and I are going to have a talk later in private. Ladies, gentlemen, and trainers of all ages, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are finally released into the wild for everyone to play, and within the first early stretch of the game, one thing is just repeatedly said, relentlessly driven home into your skulls. Your path is your choice. There are plenty of ways to go, plenty of things to do, and while there are objectives, your journey is just entirely up to you. The NPCs keep saying it, and that's because it's true. As a result of that, if you want, you can get the evolved special version an exclusive Pokemon quite early on. Specifically, I'm talking about Armor Rouge for Scarlet and Serilege for Violet. My personal gameplay is within Violet, but I will of course also explain the process for people who are playing Scarlet as well. We're going to go through this in a very specific order to let you drop out when you want, depending on just how much information you want to have before having this Pokemon for yourself. First up, we'll talk about where to find the base form of the Pokemon, then we'll discuss how you go about evolving it, then where to find the pieces that you need to do do so, and then finally we'll have a look at the stats and have a talk about why you should be excited to have these Pokemon with you, why you should make it one of your priorities to acquire them. First off then, let's talk about Char Cadet. This little dude is a fun time packed into a bipedal suit of armor shaped like a child, just walking around with his flattened limbs and his oversized helmet. In this form he represents both games quite well and both evolutions, having a lot of red in his design but the actual fire coming out of his helmet trailing off into pink to purple all the way into blue. I quite like this design, and while this version of the Pokemon isn't overly strong at all, it is decent enough for your early stages of the game. With its base stat total being 255, it's nothing crazy. It's when we get to the evolutions that it really jumps up though. So, your first question in all of this is more than likely, where can I find Charcadet? Well, unlike most Pokemon, it is actually a lot less random than you might think. The short answer is that technically these Pokemon can spawn on the vast majority of the map across the southern regions on both sides. The longer answer is that they have set spawns, a set number of these spawns, and once you fight the Char Cadet located in one of these set spawns once, it won't come back again. So make sure you take advantage of the situation. There are three of these set spawns that I'm personally aware of, and I will be phrasing this in a way that explains how to get them as early into the game as possible. In other words, I'll be talking about their distance from Mesa Goza, the first large town that you arrive at and where your journey truly begins. The fastest one of these that you can grab is right outside of the east gate of Mesa Goza. Just walk over by the South Province Area 3 Poke Center over here, immediately west of this at this location that I've marked, you can just run over and you'll find one of these Pokemon waiting around to be fought. If, however, your starting path led you at the west gate of Basagosa instead, you can find another Charcadet spawn quite close to the town of Catrondo. North of this city, in this location I've marked, continue until you see this archway here, under which another Charcadet is waiting. The final spawn that I know of is once again on the eastern side over in Southern Province Area 3 three, but a little bit further in. From the Watchtower flight point, head immediately north to this point in the map where there is a little knob of sand before it turns into grassland once again, and in this specific corner you will find another Char Cadet waiting to be encountered. All of these spawns will have your Char Cadet in the range of level 15, and at this stage they are a relatively simple fight. They aren't particularly difficult to get to low health, but the thing about them to be wary of is they seem to be quite resistant to Pokeballs and being captured in general. It took me a good 4 or 5 throws, even at low health, to get one to stick with me, whereas most other Pokemon have been happy to accept their fate at one or two. You belong to me! With that covered then, let's start talking about how to actually evolve these. It isn't quite as simple as just getting them to a certain level, but this also means that you can accomplish this evolution as early as you can meet the requirements, which are simply to use a specific item on your Char Cadet. The item exclusive to Pokemon Scarlet, which turns them into an Armor Rouge, is called the Auspicious Armor, and the item exclusive to Pokemon Violet to turn them into Serilege is called the Malicious Armor. You get both of these items in the same way, regardless of which version of the game that you are playing, and that is by trading with a specific NPC located in the town of Zappa Pico in the northeast. The fastest route to get to this town from the start of the game is by going from Mesa Goza's east gate over to Artazone, then to Lavincia, and then head directly west from there to reach Zappa Pico. In the middle of this small town is a small fountain, in front of which is a regular sized human willing to make a trade with you. In Scarlet, they will trade you for 10 Bronzor Fragments, which are an item that drops every time you defeat a bronze 
Bronzor. Bronzor can be found in quite a few locations around the map, essentially just anywhere that there are ruins. A nice early location for this on the eastern side of the map is right here, just northeast of the South Province Area 3 Poké Center. Another good location is instead on the west side of the map, just west of Cascarafa North Poké Center. As for Pokémon Violet, the NPC will instead want to make the trade for 10 Sinistee chips, which are the item that drops when you defeat a Sinistee. These Pokémon are much rarer than Bronzor, only spawning in two different locations across the whole map, but at least one of these is quite convenient, being immediately outside the east gate of Zappapico itself, where you will find them around level 28. The other spot, just for the sake of mentioning it, is instead on the southwest side of the map, just outside of Alfornada. However, here they will be over level 40, so if your sole goal is just to gather the fragments to evolve your Charcadet, the location immediately outside of Zappapico is notably better. Once you have your items assembled, simply talk with the NPC by the fountain in Zappapico, and they will trade you your in-game specific evolution item. You can do this any number of times, and you can even give this item to a Pokemon to hold, and then trade that Pokemon with other players that are playing other versions of the game to let you use other versions exclusives if you want to. Once you have the item, simply go to it in your bag and use it on your Char Cadet, and you will immediately see the evolution begin to its final form. My true form is small. With that, you have every bit of knowledge that you need to capture and evolve your own Char Cadet. But how good is this to actually do? How valuable are they as Pokemon? Well, first off, aesthetically, both of these evolutions are absolutely badass, so it's hard to not want them even just from that standpoint alone. However, that said, they are just pretty strong Pokemon in general. They both have the same base stat total of 525, which is pretty exceptional, and they are both fire type. Fire is one of those types that is always good to have around, and so if you didn't pick Fue Coco as your starter, you've probably been looking for a good fire Pokemon anyways, and if so, it's right here. On top of that, Seraledge is also part ghost type, which just straight up makes it immune to normal and fighting moves, which is nothing to scoff at in the slightest, on top of leaning towards physical attack over special. And while Armorouge's partial psychic type doesn't give it any particularly fancy resistances, it still lets it use psychic attacks with stab, which can certainly get quite nasty if you use it right. Worth noting that Armorouge instead leans towards special attack over physical. The exact amount of use that you will get out of these Pokemon will depend both on which version of the game that you're playing and on the team that you want to build around them. But know without a doubt that these are particularly good Pokemon no matter what. All right, everyone, I hope you found this useful and enjoyed watching it as well. A full guide on Char Cadet, where to find it, how to evolve it in both versions of the game, and why you should go out of your way to do so. Look forward to more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet videos coming out on the channel over the coming days, and of course, make sure to let us know in the comments if you have any burning questions you need answered about the game, anything that you really want to know but are struggling to find out on your own. Like if you liked the video, subscribe to the notification bell for more, and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time. Stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is, uh, goodbye.